Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your indicator, wing mirror indicator lens on this Mercedes GLA. As you can see, this is one we're going to replace and as you can see it's got cracks around it. The first thing what you need to do is remove this glass to gain access to remove either the cover or the lens itself. So normally if you can just get like a little trim tool what I'm going to be using today is a pick and literally if you move the glass back far enough you'll be able to see these little clips it's a little bit difficult to show you them in there but there is some little clips in there that you just pop off and pull it and as you can see it's coming off there's some hooking at the bottom as well let's go and hook those as well as you can see these are the clips I'm talking about that clips onto the motor that's situated just there and literally if you can't get it off like that you literally just turn the ignition back on and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to that mirror so i'm just going to click on the right mirror i'm going to press up to send the motor up a bit just so that i can actually take the glass out as you can see that's the glass off and as you can see these are the little clips i'm talking about there's a few of them that goes around. As you can see, they've got a little hook on them. It hooks on to the motor, as you can see. Now we're just gonna disconnect the wires for the heated mirrors. As you can see, they're now disconnected. Now we're gonna need to get, as you can see, there's a screw there. And there's also a screw there. We're gonna need to remove those to actually gain access to taking this cover off removing this indicator lens the lens might actually sort out i've never done this one before so this is the first time me doing it so i'm just going to take you through the steps that i'm taking to remove this offside front wing mirror indicator lens so as you can see we've got a t10 star talk that we're going to use to remove it so they're quite small these ones literally because these actual bolts are holding on the mirror cover you have to take these off before you can even attempt to take the mirror off, cover off otherwise you'll break it Also, there's another one there, as you can see, it's literally situated just in there. You're gonna have to just move this wire out of the way and then just slot it back in place. After you move that one, then you should be able to remove it off. All right, as you can see, I'm using a smaller little torque screwdriver, as the one I've got is too thick to fit through that gap there, as you can see, to actually get to the bolt itself. So you're literally gonna need a little T10 like this to literally get to that bolt there rather ridiculous to tell you the truth okay, that one's off should be right be able to find that let's get a magnet to get that out okay so the next step is as you can see we've got those bolts you see in the holes there they're t10s as well we need to remove all three of them just to take the motor off completely because this is not the easiest cover to take off as you can see there's a clip there as well that needs to come off that little blue clip needs to be pushed in but also another little clip there that needs to be moved out of the way so there's quite a few bits to take off so we're just going to go and do that now so as you can see so now all you have to do is literally just get like a trim tool and just pop it off you can see it comes all the way up like that to drop that motor. As you can see the whole thing is off now. As you can see, the actual indicator comes with the outer 
one in our cover. As you can see, there's a plug for it as well. So we're just going to disconnect that from there, as you can see. Then I'll remove that and fit the new one to it. As you can see, now we're going to remove that bolt. Push that clip in, push that clip in, push that clip out, and that one out. And then the whole thing should just slot off. see so it's a t10 for that as well so we're literally just gonna remove that I'm talking about is this clips so you need to push that one in so we're just going to push that in and then it should come forward these ones as you can see push them outwards as you can see so you literally got to push them outwards to release that and this one you need to push it inwards to release that bit and then that's it the whole thing should slide out so as you can see, I'm about to remove it. There's a bit of a fiddle. I don't know how to make it like this. There you go, so you just push it down to slide it out. But when you do it, it's gonna be a bit hard to come off because you see it's got a bit of glue, double-sided tape that sticks it together right there. So you might just have to on clip it from there and also as you can see on the mirror there there's glue that holds it together there as well so as long as you undo that bit and that bit should be able to just come straight out as you can see the new one's got them on there as you can see the glue patch there so you just got to peel that off just make sure it's lined up first and then stick it back on now so now we're going to put it back in there's not really that much space to get in so that you get it in like that what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to make sure that goes forward a bit. So I'm actually using my phone to do this video at the moment. That's the reason why. It's a little bit tricky for me to do it, but literally you've got to put it in that way and then you then have to literally push it down and slide it underneath like that, like so. As you can see, you're gonna have to slide it in underneath and bring it forward that way and then literally take that clip off once it's lined up take that little bit of paper off and then slot this strip into it and then it should stick together as you can see got it in there now like i said as you can see that's gonna have to be pushed in but now i'm literally just gonna peel that off Make sure you don't break this plastic bit. So I'm just gonna peel that off, make sure it doesn't touch it. And when I slot this straight in, literally when I slot it all the way in and then push it towards this, it should stick perfectly in place. So as you can see, it's now slotted in place. And as, as you can see, I'm holding the strip up. As you can see. And now literally it's slotted in place. So I can release that strip and just push it straight in look at that sweet ass you can see that's perfectly fitted in there now now just got to put that screw back in as you can see all the clips are all slotted in place i just got to put the screw back in there and now i'm gonna slot this mirror back on as you can see we need to have this motor situated just in there so we can put the mirror over it and as you can see that blue plug there is for the indicator plug as you can see there that is sits in so we literally get this over there like so slot that in 
sure I don't get these wires stuck or caught up in here. So we're gonna need them for the mirror. Okay, so all of those wires are out of the way. There we go, so we can see all the wires now. Now I need to line up that plug, there we go. The blue plug is lined up with that indicator lens. Now I'm literally gonna just make sure the wing mirror is lined up and just push it down and it will slot in place. Now as you can see, I've slotted everything in. It's all sitting nicely. Now the next step before you put everything back together, just turn the ignition on and turn that indicator on to make sure it's working. Because we don't want to remove it back off, as you can see, it's working. Now we're just going to fit that motor back on, plug the plugs back in, put those screws in and put the glass in. See, now I'm putting that little screw back up there. It's best to probably get a screwdriver or a magnet so you don't drop that screw and you put it back in. I'm just going to pop that back in. Let's remember we've got to put one there and another one down there and then we've got to put the motor back in. Okay, now I've connected the motor back up. So literally I've got the ignition on and I'm going to move that motor to make sure that it's working. So we're going right, left, up. See, it's all working, so now we can start putting it all back together. You can see the mirror's not back on, now we're going to operate it, make sure it's working properly. Thank you and thank you for watching. If you have official, please like and subscribe for further content on my channel.